Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. Today we're going to show you how to get rid of that irritating lag when you're trying to stream your Xbox One to your PC. You know, if somebody else wants to use the TV but you want to still play the Xbox, you haven't got a spare screen, the easiest option is just to go and stream it straight to your PC. So say if you've got a laptop, you can stream it to that. So, nine times out of ten, most Wi-Fi networks are not strong enough to stream the Xbox One to the PC without having any interference. But I found a way around it. So today the ob objects you're going to need are an Xbox One console, a controller, an Ethernet lead and a Windows 10 PC. You've got to make sure that your Windows 10 PC has an Ethernet port on it. Some do, some don't. And you also, if you want to play online, you're going to make sure that you have a wireless card in your PC slash laptop. So grab all of the things that you need and we'll crack on and we'll show you step by step how to get this rolling and run your Xbox One on your PC flawlessly without any lag. We'll see you over at the PC. Okay guys, so we're back on the PC like I said we would be after the intro. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your start button, your Xbox app. Once you've loaded into your Xbox app, you're going to go to this icon connect down here and then you're going to test your stream. This does take a fair while, so please bear with it. I think it's just trying to mug me right off now. But anyway, <laughs> so normally this comes up with red X's. I don't understand why, because the Ethernet wire is not plugged in. Okay, let's uh, try and stream it without the wire. So, if you'll let me go on the bloody page. Right, so we're streaming. And I'm going to go turn the stream to very high. Normally this lags really bad on the Wi-Fi. And there you go, network quality problems. So it told me all green ticks and it was lying. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of that game because the network is not very good. And I'm going to be back in a second after I have plugged in my Ethernet wire from my PC to my Xbox. So we're back after plugging in the Ethernet wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the stream. So we're going to leave there, minimize this. We're going to go down to your internet options. And then we're going to go network and sharing. Then we go down to network and sharing center. What you want to do is you want to find your wireless network, which is this one. And then you want to go to properties and then you want to go to sharing. Make sure you tick this top one saying that others can use your internet connection. Click OK. 
if you don't see a share tab on here on your wireless then the problem might be that you have the share tab on your main ethernet wire up here so what you need to do is it will only appear on one or the other so if it's appearing on this one make sure you click the share tab and disable the share internet and then go back to the wireless and make sure that you share the wireless not the ethernet wire so once you've done that you click on the ethernet which is your local network and you can see that it's sending and receiving internet okay so once you've done that close all of these boxes go back to the main screen go back to the xbox and then it's going to obviously i'm already on the tab so just wait for this to load okay let's try again right so you see that the xbox has come up we're connected to the xbox we're going to run the test again so it is showing the four green ticks so what we're going to do is we're going to try and stream the game so we're going to stream click continue and i'm going to turn the stream the stream's already on very high so i'm obviously controlling it with my xbox control now So let's go into Tom Clancy's. Just to prove that it is working, I'll go to the settings. Go to network, network settings. And as you can see, it says wire there. I don't know why the NAT type is moderate. Some stupid reason, but you can find other videos on the internet how to change a NAT type. Let's have a quick look at this checking connection. For some reason it's moderate and I'm not sure why but I'll be figuring that out in the future. But like you saw there I am connected via a wire directly from my Ethernet port on my motherboard on my Windows 10 PC to my Xbox. And I am now currently streaming the Xbox through the PC. And as you can see, bloody Jesus, there is a lot of snow out here. I've got the Xbox displaying on the 50 inch TV above and my windows 10 displayed on the 24 inch tv below and watching both of the videos they are spot on you know like there's no lag for the windows 10 screen below streaming the xbox to it they are both running exactly the same running absolutely spot on for my liking
can't believe how much bloody snow there is. Right, so anyway, guys and girls, that is the end of that video. And if you have any problems, make sure you hit me up with a message. Don't forget to like and subscribe the page if you want more content to be coming to you. The feedback is great. I want to see and hear what you guys think of this channel. So feel free to drop a comment in the box below. So that was me teaching you how to stream your Xbox One to your Windows 10 PC via an Ethernet cable. So we'll catch you on the next video. Have a great day. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love